Hello, this is going to be a very quick little update of a new feature in Canva. You've heard me talk recently about some of the new features like the drawing tool is new. There's also a QR code that's new and it will generate a QR code for any page and add it to your experience. So say that we wanna add this page, you just copy the URL, you paste it here, generate QR code, and boom, now it is on your canvas. So that's really quick, really easy, really nice. Now the new feature, let's go over to more, and you'll see characters is now here. So let's go ahead and do that character builder and just click on it and go ahead and use. And then you can build your own character. So you can start with the head. You can press see all to see all the different types that they have. Let's go ahead and choose that, go back. You can change the face. So let's see all the faces that they have. Happy, happy, back. You can change the body look. Sitting, they're really making an effort to be inclusive in their designs here. I think I wanna be wearing a dress, back. And then you can change the skin tone with the ones that they have already here. You can also click on the color wheel to get even more colors. You can be any color you wish. And if you click on the plus sign again, then you can do even more gradations. And I'm looking a bit orange, so I'm gonna go with the ones that uh, they already have suggested here for us. And then same thing goes with the hair color. We can change the hair color and I'm gonna go with black. So that is the character maker that is now available right here in Canva. When you're done, you can press done. And of course you can resize your character and move them around. I hope you and your students will find this new character builder a lot of fun. Again, to get there, just go over to more and you just have to click a character for the first time and then it will live in your sidebar like mine has. At any point, if you start having too many that you've explored here and ones that you're not using, you can always X out and remove it and then always add it back in later. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope it's helpful and I hope it's useful. Bye.